Krish and Ananya fall in love and decide to get married. Since they're from different cultural backgrounds, the tension between their families threatens to break them up. Krish pays a visit to the therapist for the first time when he can't find answers online. He remembers the day he met Ananya for the first time in the canteen. They are both studying at the Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad. Ananya is frustrated with a South Indian dish that was made incorrectly. She scolds Krish for cutting the line and keeps shouting at the head chef about how inedible the dish is. Krish suggests she should try the dessert and offers to let her have his piece. Ananya wants to eat outside with Krish and orders chicken and a beer. Krish finds it weird because Tamil Brahmins like her are usually pure vegetarians. They're also in a dry state, so there's no scope for getting alcohol. Krish is Punjabi, which means people of this community can't survive without the two things she ordered. She hopes he's not an engineer because ten of them have already asked her to marry them. Krish is an engineer, but he hates the assumption that he will be her eleventh proposal. He tries to leave, but Ananya apologizes and convinces him to stay. Ananya doesn't have friends at the management institute, and Krish was the only one who looked safe to her on campus. She respects that he hasn't hit on her directly yet. Krish knows he's average looking but remembers that he did want to hit on her. Krish tries to sit far away from her during their economics class. Professor Chatterjee makes fun of Ananya, who is an economics graduate and doesn't know how to represent a curve mathematically. He embarrasses her, so Krish asks her to not take it to heart. Ananya is offended because she topped her university. She thinks all the teachers must be making fun of her. Surely, they have a lot of time to do that. Krish assures her she will soon earn four times as much as them. He offers to help her with her studies, and she loves how dedicated he is to the books. What else did he come to her dorm for? She shows him a photo of her mother, who is a singer. She wanted to run away from her house so her parents wouldn't force her to be one too. Krish seems uncomfortable discussing his dad, but admits he's a retired army officer. All the guys on campus are jealous of Krish hanging out with Anaya. He tries to call his mother, Kavita, but his dad, Vikram, picks it up instead. Krish doesn't say anything and calls Kavita again on the landline. He refuses to talk to his dad but discusses with Kavita about him settling down and making some friends. Krish wants to earn a lot of money after graduating and then write a book. That sounds promising. He insists on writing simple stories about students like them, and hopes the story stands out more than the characters. Ananya wants to land a marketing job, but her current focus is passing her exams. Before she leaves for the night, she assures him, his story idea is great. Krish feels she might have been interested in him, but he started behaving weirdly with her. Ananya feels bad she didn't perform as well as him in economics. She still owes him a treat for helping her, but he feels uncomfortable going out with her. Krish is in love, but he's afraid she might have brotherly feelings for him. That might just be worse than friend zone. He decides he doesn't want to study with her one day and doesn't explain himself. Ananya doesn't understand why he's blowing her off and keeps trying to convince him. She corners him in his hostel room and demands an explanation. He admits his feelings for her and makes her understand he wants her to be his girlfriend. It's torture for him to ignore her too, because neither of them has friends besides the other. When he feels like she won't understand, she kisses him. Krish doesn't believe his luck, but Ananya asks him to not get ahead of himself. They decide to meet for studies that night but end up having sex. They discuss their past relationships right after. This will surely go well. He admits he was dating the principal's daughter, Rashmi in college. He doesn't know if he loved her, but feels things would have been different if he was brave. Ananya discusses how conservative her parents are. He gets defensive about this topic since it's not like he wants to marry her. She feels he wants something casual, but he assures her he didn't mean that. Off to a great start. He still admits he loves her because he thinks about her all the time. She doesn't admit she loves him and teases him about using him for grades. They hang out a lot more after this, and everyone knows there's a romantic angle involved. Ananya admits after a few days that she loves him and has been thinking about sharing her feelings for a while. They stay happy with each other till the course is about to end after two years. Ananya is worried about them ending up in different cities after they get jobs. Krish suggests taking a job in her city, but she wants to know where their relationship is headed. She feels two years is enough to demand a commitment from him. They leave the conversation hanging, but Ananya wishes him luck before his interview with a bank. Krish realizes he doesn't want to hear back from a job he doesn't care about. Finally, something impulsive. He interrupts Ananya's interview and insists he needs to discuss something important. He's sure he wants to marry her, but they decide to continue the talk after the interview. Krish introduces Ananya as a friend to Kavita and brags about her marketing job. Ananya's parents are at the graduation ceremony too, but Kavita is shocked to learn they're Tamilian. She feels all South Indians are the same and doesn't like them. This seems promising, 
Ananya introduces her parents, Radha and Shiv, who don't like Kavita either for being North Indian. At least it's mutual. Kavita explains that Vikram couldn't make it to the ceremony because of his heart issues. Kavita feels uncomfortable when Ananya's folks judge Vikram for not attending. Krish tries his best to warm up to Ananya's parents and suggests taking a tour of the city. Radha wants to see the Gandhi ashram, but Kavita has no interest in that. Radha understands that as typical Punjabi behavior, because she feels they are uncultured. Kavita gets offended and feels South Indians are uncultured because some actresses have been known to entrap Punjabi boys. What a great comparison. Radha takes offense and sits elsewhere. While Krish is happy to make his mother proud, he's worried about Ananya's parents not approving of him. Kavita insists Krish should ask for Delhi as his preferred job location. She's worried he would choose Chennai to be close to Ananya. Krish gets a call from Ananya at the same time, who insists he needs to apply to the Chennai office. He promises to figure something out. That's the kind of sandwich no one wants. Kavita tries her best to convince Krish that Ananya is using him. He reminds her that Ananya already has a job and is better off than him. He accidentally cuts Kavita's finger, so she taunts him about hurting her a lot. The emotional blackmail will surely work. Just to appease her, he promises to apply in Delhi. Kavita's sister, Shipra, thinks Krish should give up on his dreams of being a writer. She also feels Ananya is a bad influence on him and thinks Krish should marry a Punjabi girl. Vikram gets irritated to see Shipra at home, so she rants about feeling insulted and leaves. Vikram doesn't like that Shipra is finding girls for Krish to marry. Krish asks him to pretend he cares because he's always drinking and absent from their lives. Vikram breaks a glass in anger, so Kavita convinces Krish to head back to his room. Krish feels Kavita should leave Vikram. His yet another venture has failed because he punched the only investor. She is used to his anger issues, but Krish's anger scares her. She suggests he should live elsewhere when he gets a job, but Krish wants to take Kavita along to another city. Kavita refuses to leave Delhi because her family is there. Since that is the case, Krish suggests going to Chennai. But Kavita gets angry again and tries to think of ways in which he can forget Ananya, because that will surely work. Krish takes the job in Chennai and tries to get used to the city while Ananya is away. She invites him for dinner when her aunt Shoba is also in town from Texas. She warns Krish that Radha is upset because she can't find a suitable music teacher. Shiv isn't happy to see Krish again but invites him in. Krish tries to compliment his quiet house, but Shiv starts ranting about the plumbing and electricity issues. Krish finds Radha's music teacher waiting while she cooks for him. Her folks are frustrated because Ananya didn't inform them about Krish dropping by. Things get more awkward when Shiv wonders why his bank let a North Indian like him come to South India. This rivalry seems just short of very toxic. Krish forgets his problems when Ananya comes in. She explains how hard Radha is working for a singing championship she wins every year. Ananya reminds Shiv that Krish is a long way from home, so he should try to be nice to him. Ananya's family discusses a man they want her to marry. Krish doesn't understand their language, so Shiv asks him to learn their language if he has a problem. This day could not get more awkward. Ananya and Krish briefly consider eloping. Ananya still knows she can't betray her parents, and even Krish thinks there's no honor in running away. They decide to be patient, and Ananya finds an excuse with which he can come to her house all the time. She suggests he should give engineering classes to her brother, Manju. She convinces him to wake up early before the office and come over to her place. Krish finds another teacher leaving Radha when he visits in the morning. He gets busy coaching Manju, but Shiv keeps ignoring him. Krish and Ananya keep meeting at his apartment after work, and he even makes an effort to learn Tamil. Now that's a keeper. Krish tries to write something, but he gets a call from Vikram. He wants to know about Krish's work and if he has settled in. Krish gets angry and doesn't think Vikram has a right to call. Vikram feels Krish is being unnecessarily rude and doesn't know what he did to deserve this. After letting Krish take a rickshaw to work every day, Shiv finally agrees to drop him. Shiv notices his reports and asks if he knows how to make a presentation. Shiv is struggling with something at work, but still refuses to take Krish's help. He makes it clear to Krish that he respects him because he's Ananya's friend and Manju's teacher. But he wants Krish to be clear that he can never let Ananya marry him. Krish assures Ananya he will keep trying and figure out another way. They discuss his bank's promotional event that week, for which they have two famous singers. Krish has already bought passes for Ananya's family, and she's sure her mom will be happy. Krish finds some guests the next time he comes to teach Manju. He learns that Harish from San Francisco has come up with a marriage proposal for Ananya. He doesn't like that Ananya is getting ready for a meeting and feels he will have to attend her wedding at this rate. This has to hurt. She assures him she's only meeting the guy once to humor Shoba. She asks Krish to trust her, but that doesn't make it easy for him. 
Ananya keeps her word and scares Harish by discussing her sex life with him. Krish is still worried because her family hates him, and Ananya is heading out of town for work soon. Ananya suggests he should still hang out with her family and help her father with his presentation. The next time Shiv drops Krish, he brings up the presentation again. Krish claims he has a lot of free time after work and doesn't know anyone else in the city. When he claims he misses his family, Shiv agrees to let him help. That was easy. After Krish sees Ananya off, he notices another music teacher refusing to teach Radha. Vikram writes a letter to Krish and thinks he shouldn't have run off to Chenny for a girl. Krish ignores him and starts helping Shiv with the presentation. Krish also asks his boss to consider Radha as the third singer for their event. Radha doesn't know if she can entertain such a crowd, but Krish encourages her and thinks she will be great. When Krish is done helping him, Shiv rants about Verma from the office, who takes all the credit for his work. He offers Krish a drink and insists he should sleep over at their place. When he asks about his future plans, Krish mentions that he wants to be a writer. Shiv is more supportive than he expected because he feels it's good that Krish doesn't want to work for someone else. Krish keeps motivating Radha, and the day of the event arrives. Ananya and Shiv assume Radha are at a friend's place. They get a pleasant surprise and find out that she's the singer at the event. Ananya knows Krish arranged all this, and they cheer for Radha. Shiv opens up with Krish and brags about how well his presentation was received in the office. Even Radha is considering contemporary singing classes after the opportunity Krish gave her. It looks like the effort paid off. Krish admits he has been in love with Ananya for three years. When he came to Chennai six months ago, he realized how hard the journey is when two people want to get married. He admits they could have eloped, but they want their families to be there at the wedding. He requests Ananya's folks to accept him for Ananya's happiness. He presents rings to all of them so he can marry the family. Manju already likes him, and even Shiv is beginning to think he will keep Ananya happy. Radha hesitates because she's not sure his family will accept Ananya. Krish assures her he will do his best to make it work, so even she agrees. Krish decides to come back to Delhi with Ananya to convince his family. They don't know she's coming along, so Shipra is excited to set him up with some Punjabi girls at his cousin Minty's wedding. Krish asks Ananya to just win over his mother's side of the family. There's too much suspense about the father's side. Krish in the future has faced a lot of rejections from publishers. He also feels leaving his bank job was a mistake. Shipra and Kavita receive Krish and Ananya at the airport. Kavita is mad he got Ananya along but greets them politely. Ananya will move to the guest house on Monday, but Krish insists she will stay with them during the weekend. Kavita and Shipra gossip about Duke, who is about to get married to Minty. They discuss how much dowry they're taking and make Ananya uncomfortable. Kavita feels Krish is worth a lot more, and he jokes about his market value. Ananya is sure Kavita hates her, but Krish insists he should try with her. Good luck with that. He reminds Ananya, she promised to do whatever it takes. He suggests she should cook with Kavita that night. Ananya offers help, but Kavita gives her a whole list of things she should make. Krish thinks it will be faster if they both cook together, but Kavita is doing everything to avoid Ananya. She ends up burning the food, and Kavita gets angry about it. She knows Krish is helping her in the kitchen and feels like Ananya will control him all her life. She insults Ananya and feels she only knows how to trap innocent boys like Krish. That must have hurt. Krish asks Kavita to give Ananya a chance because he loves her. Kavita doesn't care what Ananya thinks because she is opposed to their match. Ananya wants to give up and move to the guest house, but Krish convinces her to give it some more time. The third time's the charm. Krish discusses Minty's wedding over dinner and wants Ananya to come along too. Ananya assures Kavita they don't want to force anything on her. Kavita feels like she wants Krish to be married into a family that respects her. A lot of people have insulted her because of Vikram, and she doesn't want that again. Krish convinces Kavita to give Ananya a chance, and is sure their family will like her. Ananya finds another strategy, and she attacks Krish to bond with Kavita. They both finally agree that Krish has bad communication skills, since he didn't inform Kavita about Ananya coming with him. Does anyone see a glimmer of hope? Ananya introduced herself to Vikram as Krish's friend the next morning. Krish refuses to answer where they're going, so Vikram starts complaining to Kavita. He is angry that Ananya is staying in their house, and he doesn't even know about it. Krish assures Ananya none of this is her fault and takes her to the guest house. Krish regrets that he was pretending to have a normal family. He feels bad for bringing Ananya to a broken home. Seven years ago, Krish tried to talk to Vikram about Rashmi. He is in love with her and wants Vikram to talk to the principal so they don't get her married somewhere else. Vikram blames Kavita for spoiling Krish and feels he's getting distracted at a time when he should be focusing on his studies. 
Krish reminds Vikram he never had any such distractions, and still got thrown out of the army. Vikram slaps him for misbehaving, and complains to Kavita about how shameless Krish is. She tries to stand up for Krish, but Vikram slaps Kavita, and feels marrying her was a mistake. Krish comes to their room, and slaps Vikram before picking up the glass pieces. All the aunts at Minty's wedding feel Ananya is too beautiful for a South Indian. What a subtle way to insult someone. Krish rescues her and involves her and his family in the dance. Ananya is part of all the festivities and feels weird when the groom's family is gifted a car publicly as dowry. Ananya notices commotion at the wedding and insists she wants to check it out with Krish. Kavita explains that Duke's family is upset because the car they gave for the dowry is too small. Her sister Raji, who is the bride's mom, doesn't have more money for a bigger car. All the women are planning to give up their jewelry as a guarantee for a bigger car. This could not get worse. Ananya finds it weird that Krish has no problem with dowry and tries to find a solution herself. She requests a meeting with Duke before the women give up their jewelry, she assures them it won't be an issue. Ananya asks Duke how much he earns and explains that she earns double of him. She doesn't think he has done anything great to deserve such a grand wedding and dowry. She reminds him that he never would have a shot with someone like Minty if it weren't for an arranged marriage. She does some quick calculations and makes it clear he can never afford a bigger car himself, even in his dreams. Ouch. When she asks him to have some self-respect, he asks his mother to stop fighting for a bigger car, he seems confident he can afford it himself and wants to marry Minty with whatever they have given. Ananya's intervention helps Kavita warm up to her, because now her sisters love Ananya for saving them money and humiliation. Kavita approves of her, but is worried that their families don't have an understanding. Ananya knows Kavita has a point, and feels their families need to meet again. Krish is tired of playing games with the families, but Ananya insists everyone needs to be happy. Let's hope this works out. They decide to go on a vacation to Mumbai, which is a middle spot for both families. Krish reminds Kavita to smile in front of Ananya's family, and Kavita gifts Radha an expensive sari. Radha asks about Vikram again, but Kavita makes another excuse about his health. Kavita also makes sure to taunt Radha, because she feels the bride's family should never meet the groom's family without gifts. Krish tries to cut the tension and offers Ananya's family the bigger room. Kavita still has a lot of complaints about how they didn't give her anything. She thinks she got Radha something nice for no reason. Both parents still try to gel with each other, but their cultural differences keep getting highlighted. Ananya and Krish feel they need to try a different approach to make their families like each other. Krish suggests her family should buy Kavita a nice present, and insist on paying the bill when they eat out. Ananya doesn't think that's necessary, but Krish is sure Kavita will like that. Ananya convinces her parents to buy something, but Radha feels they have too many demands. I can't argue with that. Kavita is happy with her gifts, and tries to make polite conversation. She and Radha agree it's strange that the kids decide their own partners these days. Radha is used to arranged marriages too, but feels satisfied after knowing how nice Krish is. Kavita feels their family is lucky to have a qualified boy like her son in marriage. Radha reminds her that most Tamilians are qualified, but Kavita starts bragging about how rich her family is. Krish tries to stop her when she brags about Minty's Punjabi wedding and the dowry they paid. Radha understands Kavita feels like they have trapped Krish, and clarifies that Krish used to come to their house willingly, and made an effort. Radha is tired and feels like she tried her best to make an effort. Krish and Ananya try to intervene, but they're all offended. And all this before dessert. Such a waste. When Ananya's folks walk off, she reminds Kavita that they're all trying, but nothing seems to be enough for her. Kavita is offended that Ananya was rude to her and thinks she will treat her like a servant when they're married. The arguments seem to be going way off track. Krish assures Kavita she can dominate Ananya after they're married, he promises not to take Ananya's side, and knows her nice parents also won't do anything. Ananya overhears this with her parents and is very angry. She breaks up with Krish because she can't insult her family more. She doesn't want to be with someone like him who insults her, even if it is to pacify his difficult mom. Ananya and Krish get back to their lives, but they're both lonely and upset. Krish keeps calling her, but she never responds. Krish is mad at Kavita too, and Vikram seems confused. When Vikram tries to make them patch up, Krish doesn't have the energy to fight. Makes sense. Ananya is giving a presentation when Krish turns up at her office. He tries to apologize, but Ananya knows Kavita will never accept her family. She is sure their love is not enough for this relationship and asks him to stop calling her. This is when Krish visits the therapist for the first time since he doesn't feel good. The future Krish knows he just needed sleeping pills at the time he started therapy. He starts writing again, and even Vikram tries to look out for him. 
He asks for some help with his pension papers, and Krish offers to type the letter for him. Vikram asks about Ananya, but Krish refuses to discuss her. He seems more sad than rude when he ignores the topic. Kavita is already planning to set up an arranged marriage meeting for him. This is getting funnier. When Krish resists, she taunts him for being selfish. Krish reminds her he does everything she asks for, and is tired of making up for his absent father. He feels that she betrayed him, the one time he needed her to be there for him. He thinks Kavita talks about community and religion too much for a person who's suffering in her own ideal marriage. Krish doesn't get a straight answer from Vikram when he comes home late and gets annoyed. Ananya calls to inform him that Vikram came to Chennai to apologize to Kavita. Her family has agreed to let them get married, and are very happy. Krish doesn't believe Vikram did that for him. Vikram likes Ananya's family, and feels he doesn't want to lose his son in his old age. He also doesn't want to attend Krish's wedding, because he doesn't want to mess up the one right thing he did. Krish's family takes a train to Chennai, for a Brahmin wedding, to please Ananya's family. The ceremonies for Ananya's wedding begin. Her parents take Kavita aside to ask about the gift she wants. Krish assumes his mother must have asked for a dowry, but Shipra explains she didn't. Kavita instead told Ananya's parents that she was happy to get the gift of their daughter at the wedding. Kavita reminds Krish he underestimates how much she loves him. Finally, some hope. The priest asks for the groom's father, but Shipra explains that he won't come. Shiv helps Krish get into their family's attire for the wedding. Krish informs them that Vikram is also attending the wedding, and he flew in last night. Ananya's parents are glad to welcome him, and they join Kavita in the ceremonies. He apologizes for all his mistakes, and hopes it's not too late to forgive him. Everyone is happy with their beautiful wedding, and Krish is a dad of two some years later. He thinks when his kids grow up, he might finally understand their parents' point of view.